Where's Maxwell? Oh, I thought he was meeting you at the station. He already left. Niles! I called and said that I would pick him up here. I told you to give him the message. Oh, I thought you said give him a massage. <laughs> I didn't think that was appropriate. I'm not going to let anything bother me this weekend. As long as I'm here, I might as well pick up a little wine, put Maxwell in the mood. Did I tell you we have a private compartment? And tonight there's a full moon. Well, I hope she packed a lot of nair. <laughs> Luck be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Luck be a lady tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe this has happened. <laughs> okay. There must be another way out of here. Miss Babcock, I OD'd on the equal. Could you pass me another bottle of burger? You know, a lot of women go through their change early. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You let the door close, and now we're trapped in here, and I'm gonna miss my train. Okay, calm down. Don't panic. Maybe I can fix it. Sheesh. <laughs> no. <laughs> You, this was originally built as a bomb shelter. Hey, don't underestimate the power of these adenoids. I once had next door neighbors that moved closer to the airport. <laughs> hey, this room is very small, isn't it? Why, are you claustrophobic? Oh, thank you. Now you put it in my head. <laughs> and I'm reliving Loman's dressing room. Big sale. 200 naked women all screaming, where did you find that? I was clinging to my mother's girdle. Dimples, dimples everywhere. And not one on the face. And then, and then, and then. An alarm box. You know, if we cut the wires, we can trip the system and the cops will come and find us. What have you got? Uh, nail clippers! Excellent. <laughs> well, either that alarm is way too subtle, <laughs> or I cut the fan off. <laughs> Now we can't breathe. Oh, by the way. <laughs> what did you do that for? Weren't you hysterical? No. Oh, my mistake. 